topic of Joe Biden's age is not going away, and it's not going to go away as we inch closer to the presidential election in November. Every time he takes a podium and starts talking, he starts out bright, sharp. He sounds like he knows what he's talking about. And as the minutes go on, he starts to fade, and he fades, and he fades, and then he starts to mumble. And he's looking at a teleprompter where the letters are big enough where if he had contact lenses in or glasses, he should be able to read them clearly. And that is simply not the case, and people are starting to get concerned. CNN reporter Jackie Kuncich said, said doubt around Biden's mental sharpness will not go away after the Wall Street Journal reported that some lawmakers and other officials are concerned that the chief executive has slowed down. Now. We've seen him fall upstairs. We've seen him fall downstairs. We've seen him fall off a bike. We've seen him fall on a stage. I get that he's elderly. I get that. Quite frankly, I've said this before, I feel bad because he's 81, 82, and Dr. Jill, as far as I'm concerned, is pushing him out there and making him do this so she, for some reason, can stay relevant because she thinks she's important. But then Kuncich went on to say he's not going to age backwards. This isn't Benjamin Button here, referring to the movie with Johnny Depp. Now, I don't know why his people are continuing to keep him out there. Former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy spoke about it, and he was one of 45 people that the Wall Street Journal interviewed to provide an impression of Biden's mental ability. And he said he used to meet with him when he was vice president. I'd go to his house. But today, he's not the same person. Biden's advisors are concerned his age is an issue for his presidential campaign, as it should be, because he can't remember from minute to minute when he's speaking what he's even talking about. He wanders off into this fairy tale land and starts telling these stories that simply aren't true, like his uncle was eaten by cannibals. The man obviously is in mental decline when he's standing at a podium telling people his uncle was eaten by cannibals. That right there should be cause enough for the pe people around him to say, you know what, Joe, enough is enough. But they're continuing to keep him out there. They're continuing to say he's going to make it to the finish line. And supposedly, we're going to wait and see, Donald Trump and Biden are supposed to debate twice. And the Democrats are saying Trump won't show up. Well, he'll only not show up because Judge Mershan probably wants to put him in jail so he cannot run and so he cannot be on the ballot and win election in November. That's the only way Trump would not show up for a debate. From that fraud trial in New York, the 34 counts, all guilty, all fraud, all nonsense, Mershan's daughter is raising millions and millions of dollars for the Democrats using that case as a talking point. We all know it. It's nonsense. Hopefully, the Supreme Court will vacate that decision. But they're also talking now about invoking the 25th Amendment to remove Joe Biden from office because he simply cannot do the job. Now, here's my thoughts on that. Everybody says... Gavin Newsom. They're going to grab Gavin Newsom. He's going to step in at the DNC convention, and they're going to nominate him. Or Michelle Obama's name's been floated. Forget Kamala Harris. The Democrats want nothing to do with her. Here's my take. We've all seen Hillary Clinton going on every woke liberal talk show she can. Every time she gets the mic, she's bashing Trump more and more and more. She's still coming up with excuses why Trump beat her in 2016. They talk about election deniers. Hillary Clinton to this day is still denying that Trump beat her, and she'll think of every excuse she can other than Trump won because people did not want Hillary in the White House. But follow along. Here's where I'm going with this. What makes you think that these Democrats are not going to put Hillary Clinton out there again at the last minute because Gavin Newsom, for what he's done in California, his chances are slim that he would get elected. Hillary Clinton 
in my view, it's my belief that they are priming her to take over for Joe Biden at the Democratic National Convention because the Congress is going to invoke the 25th Amendment and remove Joe Biden from office because his health is severely declining. My other guess is Kamala Harris, again, is gone. She's not going to be in any picture. Clinton will be the presidential nominee. Newsom will be the vice president running with Clinton. I hope to God that I'm wrong, and I pray that I'm wrong, because we all know the Hillary Clinton. No one likes her. She's a dirty Democrat. She's got more skeletons than a lot of Democrats have. She'll deny it all. She's innocent. All she is is a hardcore Democrat who wants to do right by the people. We know that's a bunch of bullshit. So that's my take. The lawmakers are talking about it more and more and more. And now the Wall Street Journal has come out with the report. So that tells me, and it may be a conspiracy theory, but I don't think it is. But I think they're going to remove Biden soon. Not soon enough, but soon. And Hillary Rodham Clinton is going to be the presidential nominee for the Democrats because they have no one else. They know Kamala Harris cannot win. And Gavin Newsom, again, has destroyed California. They know he can't win. And they're going to hope that Hillary Clinton, for some reason, will get all these votes from all these woke liberal women. When, if Hillary Clinton becomes president, they talk about Donald Trump said he's going to be a dictator. Hold on, buckle up, because if Clinton ever became the president, our country is over. Over. She is going to run it the way she wants to run it, like Joe Biden is right now. And no one is going to be able to do anything about it. You think the Democrats are weak on crime now? If Clinton gets in, everybody's going to be running around with guns, shooting here, stabbing here, killing here, and no one's going to go to prison because the Democrats don't believe that criminals should be prosecuted for crimes. So follow along. Pay attention. Read the news reports, not just from Fox, from wherever you get your news. I believe, it's my theory, that the Democrats are going to roll out old Hillary and put her on a ticket for the Democrats in 2024. And one more time, I pray to God that doesn't happen. Trump is the only one that can save this country. People need to wake up and see that. No Democrat can undo what Joe Biden has done. It will take anyone, Trump or another Republican, a lot more than four years to undo the damage that Joe Biden has done to our country.